Hey friends, welcome to Montana Haven. Today it's Ethan and I and Justin's teaching school and we're here in the winter wonderland. And what we did is we went to Lowe's today and we got hopefully enough, more than enough, hardy board, quarter, quarter inch cement board for our floors, for our tile, in our two bathrooms and in our Arctic entry. So we, we went there, picked that up, we're carrying it inside and today um, I'm going to be working on starting the shower tile and uh, Ethan is going to be doing some other items you'll see as we go along the day. So it's always late getting started because we're actually having record snow here in Alaska and we're loving it. So far the other day I think we measured 28 inches on the flat and we've got a few more inches already and now they're calling for another like a foot. So a lot of snow but we love it. This is I guess a record or of some sort I don't know. I actually need to check into it, but I, somebody, somebody was telling me this is a record for this time of year. So a lot of snow, but we're loving it. We're working on the house, and uh, it's moving forward slowly, but we're, we're making steps. So welcome to this episode of Montana Haven, Alaska Edition. And we're so excited to have you join us as we work on the house. So let's go and get this done, shall we, Ethan? Check out the outside. We've got the burn barrel going, burning a few, few scraps, spent the, an hour or so cleaning up. And look at the snow on that trailer. Ah, it's a lot of snow. Okay, let's go check out what Ethan's doing now. Uh, we've got, we still have the outside of the window trim and the basement window trim exterior to do. So uh, Ethan's got a couple, uh, he is burning a few of the last final boards that we have here. Some of these we're going to be using for our interior tread risers on our stairs and some of these, one of these actually is going to be on the inside and two of them are going to be on the outside, I think something like that for trim. So he's going to paint one of them. Yeah, I think he's going to paint one and he's going to, uh, the other one's going to be for the inside. doing is making it look good. last video you notice how I painted these with a slight touch of green basically like a green wash these are going to match our roof trim and this is going to be for the outside of the windows and the doors and here's some more of it right here so it's going to take those three long boards all those at the bottom down there those are going to be for our stair tread risers and then it's going to take these and one more that Ethan's doing on the outside. Well, the time has come to do a very important job. And I am inside our master bathroom. And this is the tub, jetted tub that we have here. And I'll be the first one to tell you I'm not a tile expert. I like to do, or I'm better at construction uh, than I am at tile and those type of things. But thankfully, I have an ace in my pocket and that is uh, my cousin Michael who's you know building a house next door and he's actually a rock and tile expert so that's that's kind of his forte his specialty so I'm gonna be uh, doing this tile and I've asked him a bunch of questions and so it's time to get to work and and uh, see if we can get this figured out first things first let's make sure we have all our trusty tools there's my tool bag there's a bucket with some water in it to mix up mortar uh, this caulk gun with some bath and um, bathroom adhesive, advanced silicone stuff, 100% waterproof, I'm going to be putting around the tub. 
Um, and then this tape, I'm gonna tape the seams before um, I'll show you in a second. And this is to mix up my mud. And I know that's all I got right now. It's kind of a joke, but that's what I got. This is my quarter inch by quarter inch uh, trowel to put mud on. And this is kind of like a Schluter type of edging here. So first thing we're going to do is this gap in between here. I'm gonna put that silicone all along there to caulk it. And then we're gonna go and all these uh, corners and all the seams like along here, we're going to put uh, like drywall tape on there, the mesh, it's kind of like a, a strong mesh. And then we're going to put one coat of mortar on there. And then we're going to put these um, edges like here put that edge on there and mortar that in there like that so that's what we're going to be working on and then we're going to put a coat of red guard uh waterproofing on everything time to mix up some mud uh... Well, so far it's going good. I've got all my seams done and I've got this piece of edging on. Now I've got to put this piece on over here and do around the bottom. So it's getting there, but whew, it's warm in here. I'm sweating, making progress. I'm probably much slower than a professional would be, but I want to make sure I do it right because what I lack in experience, I'm going to make up for uh, in time, I guess. Time to check up on Ethan. How's it going, Ethan? Good. So Ethan is staining these boards. This is a clear coat. He's doing the back side. Wow, you can see those things are bent. But thankfully, we're gonna be cut, cutting those in pieces, at least some of them, probably all of them for trim. So he's just giving them a coat of stain, and then we're going to be uh, using them for trim later. So he's getting them prepped.
Well, now I've got all the corners done and the bottoms. I've got this edging on right here. I've got the edging on over on this side. And uh, the next thing I need to do is now waterproof it, but I need to wait until this um, thin set is drier. Uh, and I'm, so I might not get it on today. I might have to wait till tomorrow morning. Some of it's dry, but the seams that I've just done aren't very dry yet. So we'll give it some time and I'll get started on something else. It's about time for dinner, so we might not get a lot more done today. So Ethan got these boards all uh, with a clear finish on them, two coats, so that's good. And then what I did is I've got two of the rooms that tomorrow we're going to lay this door rock on that we got at Lowe's today. Uh, it's sitting over here, basically in the dark because we're getting ready to leave right there uh so we're gonna like vacuum the floor so we're gonna start putting that stuff on tomorrow and putting thin set down getting that put down so right now it's time to have some dinner well here we are again this morning heading back to our property and i don't know how much snow is out here but there is a lot of snow fresh snow i'm thinking maybe just by looking at this maybe a foot so we're gonna have to go out and do some check and see how much it is, but it's pretty deep. Wow. Justin is shoveling a path to the woodshed here. And look how deep that is. We gotta measure that, Justin. That is so deep. Wow. Oh, he's got a tape measure right there. All right, let's see what we got. Between 35 and 36 inches. Wow. Come up this way a little bit. Like, there's a, try that right in there. Yep. Oh, where is it here? So 35, 36, 35 and a half, something like that. Depends on where you measure. A little bit packed on the floor there. Wow, so about three feet of snow. That is pretty neat. Wow. Just look at all that snow. Some frost on the outside there because we got the window cracked just to let moisture come through the house. That's amazing, loving it. Now that you've seen how much snow we have, it's time to get to work. I tell you what, I don't know what it is about Alaska. Maybe I'm just being too chill or something, but between snow and winter time and family, and I'm still, you know, doing a lot of um, editing the YouTube channel and um, what, what else is there? Oh, there's like our dog business and then we have our vacation rental. So there's a lot of things to take care of mornings, it seems like. And so we get here kind of late and so it just is not happening as fast as, as I um, anticipated it might work. But, you know, I have to remind myself every day we're getting a little bit done and that's what's good. So the first thing we're going to do right now, yesterday we prepped the shower. Everything's ready to go. I'm going to take that, um, I got a little brace on there to help uh, hold this uh, edging on right there. But we're going to put this what's called Red Guard waterproofing. Um, so we're going to paint that on a couple thick, heavy coats of this stuff right here. And then after that, we're gonna be ready to do the tile on the shower. I actually, it might have to wait on doing the tiling for just a little while because um, I wanna put some rock in the, in the corners for shelving and I don't have that yet. Um, and I have to go all the way to Anchorage to get it. And I don't wanna make a special trip just for that. So I might have to wait till some other things come in. We're waiting on our rock for the fireplace as well. So, uh, but we're going to get started on the floor. So I'm going to do this, waterproof it, and then we're going to get started putting the underlayment on the floor. So let's get rolling.
that stuff is crazy toxic. I started doing it, I was like, this is not gonna work, so I had to go get this respirator, but I'm gonna let it dry, and I'm gonna come back in an hour or so and give it the second coat. So right now I gotta get out of this room, it's bad. I've got the window open, but it's still bad. Okay, well, while I'm letting that red guard dry, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna see if I can get down some sheets of plywood. Maybe I can get this room done yet. We do need to, I'm gonna have to go get uh, the skidster and plow the dry before it gets too late. But I'm gonna mix up some mud here and then we're gonna start putting some sheets down. I'm gonna use a quarter inch trowel here and uh, make it nice and level. And then we're gonna get, get our hardy plank down. I'm off now to start plowing my drive, but I just had to show you the sunset. Is sun is setting down over there, but it's still shining up on the trees. Oh, it is so beautiful. Just beautiful. Wow. The next few days are gonna be cold, but completely clear, I guess. I just love to see the mountains covered in snow. I'm walking in here at Michael's drive to get his uh, skid steer. And I'm not dressed very well today. I was banking on working inside. So I might just freeze before I'm done. Just look at all that snow. That is hilarious. Wow.
Alrighty, it's 5.30 and I got everything plowed and I am about frozen. It is 13 degrees and I forgot long underwear. So that's why I am about frozen. And Michael was telling me he measured his roof and it's 42 inches. So I think I measured it in a low spot or something. So we got almost three and a half feet of snow. There's a lot of snow. This was a lot of plowing. Kind of hard to get it plowed out. What a perfect morning. So nice. We came out here. The kiddos finished the school early. And look what we found as a present right here for us. Moose droppings. They were here last night. During the night sometime. What a frosty, frosty morning today. Such a beautiful, frosty morning. We're back again here and we're getting started. Ethan's mixing up the, the mud there. We're gonna use a tote today, make it easier to, to mix up. So we added some water and some thin set and he's gonna have to get another bag of that. putting the last piece in here in the entrance that one was a little bit short just had it was a piece I had on hand but it'll be fine underneath there we'll put some mud in the back call her good okay now this guy's ready to tile out here but we're gonna move it to the next to the bathroom and start the floor in there we're getting her done I had to run to town and get some more screws Work on the bathroom here. See if we can get this done yet today. It's four below zero out there. Okay, here we go. Get this thing correct. Done. Well, here we are in the master bathroom now, and we're getting this done. We're going to leave in about 45 minutes. We got the weekend coming up, so we want to get as much done here as we can. Okay, hey, Jesse, you want to go get that piece that's ready out there? I don't know already. We are. Okay. Okay, that's all ready. Put this. Okay. Boom, be out of baby. Okay. Ethan, we're ready for a screw gun. And we're off. One glob right here. Okay, I think that'll do it right there. Okay, there's a glob there. You saw it? Yep. Okay. Hey, look at my new hat. 
got it from Farmer's Market. The Lonely Traveler. One at a time, sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking from you. Help me today, show me the way, what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus. Tomorrow may never be mine. Just help me today, show me the way, one day at a time. Well, we're wrapping it up for the night. It is Friday evening and it's time to call it a day or a week, I should say. Gonna clean up and then Monday we only have a little piece there to do and finish this corn right here. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb four. How long do you have to hold it? <laughs> Doing a little bit of shopping. Look at these beautiful eagles up here. Freezing cold temps. Well, a very good morning to you. It's Monday morning and we're back at it, boys, aren't we? Yeah. So let me show you how chilly it is this morning on my truck thermometer. It was about seven degrees when we left the rental and here it is 10 below zero. And today our plan is to finish the hardy board on the floor. That won't take too long. And then we're gonna get started tiling. I don't think we're gonna be able to get it quite finished today because we'll have to put some on, three quarters of it on or so, and then we'll have to let it dry. And tomorrow we'll come back, stand on the tile that we just completed, and then we can finish the rest of it up against the walls. So that's what our plan is today. Uh, this is the beginning of the week of Christmas and this video is going to end after today and then we'll pick up tomorrow with a new video so it's time to get to work well that does it that's the last piece back there to put in I just had to show you this beautiful pattern look at that that's the Sun shining through that window isn't that beautiful that is so cool just amazing how that looks. Wow, I like that. Very neat. All right, time to get started on tile here. So now we're taping all the joints with mud and tape. So basically, I put some mud down, fill the cracks, and then the boys put tape down. And I'm just going over it with another layer of mud. And that's going to completely reinforce it. That way, if anything ever moves, it should be able to move. For the tile to go into the wall. For the tile to go into the wall. What I did here 
is I put, there's a hole in the bar, and I put the right thickness shims right here, screwed it to a block up here, and that, that creates my correct height. So when I slide it along here, it's the right height off the floor. So I cut that all the way along, and I'm just having to tilt it a little bit to get, kind of get uh, a little bit lower out of there, get it all off cleaned out. <laughs> Take two of them, each one. Look at that, we're making progress and it's looking good. I like it, I'm loving it. she looks so we've almost got it done we've got about two more feet left here but we're out of mud and it's quitting time so we'll come back and finish this tomorrow I really like the way this uh, this these this tiles look it's kind of like old board I don't know what the plan is there pretty good I think and where I got my chainsaw cut those are pretty tight um, all along there. I, I also am planning on putting a bead of chinking along there anyway, so it didn't have to be perfect, but um, yeah, so we'll come back tomorrow, finish laying this, start in the bathrooms, and then when that's all done, we're gonna be grouting, and next, the rest of the week, or the last part of the week, we're gonna be uh, probably starting on the trim, and uh, Putting the minwax stain on the trim, get started on that. That's gonna be a big project for sure. Okay, babe. Well, what you got cooking here? I was baking for a while. Look at that, Christmas cookies. Cookies and challah bread. Wow, are these to give away? Uh, some of it is. Wow, Christmas mm -hmm. cookies. Some for Christmas. I sure do like those Christmas cookies, honey. Nice. Have you sampled some of them? No. You didn't? That surprises me. Okay. I want to give a quick shout out to my sister and brother-in-law who also have a YouTube channel mm -hmm. and it's called Mullet Family Montana. So we will have the link down below for sure. you. Sure, yep. In and the description she, box. Yeah. Mary is my older sister and she is phenomenal with cooking. She's constantly cooking. She does these big comfort foods and even lately she's done some Trim Healthy Mama type food like some healthy food. So, and then there's other things they do, like right. just family life, sort of like we do. Right. Marvin is a real handyman. Uh, they've got what three boys, three, four, four boys. Four boys. But Marvin's like a real MacGyver. That guy can like make do with just about a piece of string and anything else. So, real uh, handyman. That they do things outside, outdoor stuffy too, mm -hmm. and hiking and things like so. They they got a good channel. So check them out too. Yes. 
go check them out. All right. Hope you uh, subscribe for them. And thanks for watching this video. Well, it's eight below zero and we're taking a little hike back behind our place to check up on our trail cameras. We're walking down the trail where a moose was here, but it's kind of hard going. We got snowshoes on, but it still is pretty hard going, but it's quite late. It doesn't look like it's that dark, but it is just loaded with snow, three and a half feet of snow here. Check it out. There's a hole right there. And we were hiking along here and a grouse literally flew out of this hole, flew up into the trees. It's huddled underneath the snow for warmth. Pretty amazing. Snow's getting a little deep for her. Hey, good girl. Can't even so Joe Come here, girl. Come here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's getting smart. Come on, girl. You can do it. Come on. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you can do it, girl. Come on, Montana. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Oh, good girl. All right. Okay. What do you think, Kendall? You Kendall and the twins on snowshoes. Okay, we're here and we are getting ready to dig out this second camera. We found the first one. Go ahead, Ethan. Dig it. Dig it out. We had a little trouble finding the first one. It was way under the snow. There it is, uh -huh. taking pictures at us. I think it's set just a little bit low. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> what a beautiful evening it is out here. Just amazing. That's west, the direction the sunset. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's stars up there. Just a glorious evening to be out cold and clear. We're following an old moose trail right through here. Just look at that. Oh, it's stunning. Stunning. Eight below zero, but stunning. Very cool. Very totally quiet. Just quiet and clear. And there's the sweet lights of home. Well not quite home yet because we aren't living here yet but it will be home very soon we got the lights on in there that was really a nice hike going through the woods middle of the night like that okay 